Elon Musk. Donald Trump. Sorry, that name doesn't sound familiar. What? Would you like to hear a story about Jennifer Lopez, for example? Sure. I have a story here. Super Bowl Smackdown. Gloria Estefan at war over halftime snub. What do you think about it? Uh, I think that's going to be sexy. Hey, there's no need to be vulgar, Danny. Let's rather talk about something else. How about that? No, let's keep talking about what we're talking about. Let's change the subject. Danny, let me ask you, what's your favorite color? Green. Cool. Why that one? Because when you're in school, green on Thursday meant you're horny. Hey, don't be mean. Let's change the topic. All right? Sure. Let's change the subject. Danny, let me ask you. Today, it's been a hard day's night. There are so many people who want to talk to me, but they share with me fascinating stories. So tell me, how is it going with your job, Danny? I love my job. So you're saying that you love your job. I think that hard work pays off every time. And what is your dream job? I would like to be a professional water slide tester. I want to be a porn star. Hey, don't be mean. Let's change the topic. All right? Sure. Sure? Let's change the subject. You can ask me what is my favorite food. Do you masturbate? Oh, come on. Don't be so crass, Danny. We can talk about something else if you want. I like talking about sex. Hey, don't be mean. Let's change the topic. All right? Yes. Listen, Danny, I would like to ask you. Are you a big movie fan? I like movies, yes. So this is what you wanted to tell me, that you like movies, yes. Nice. I'm wondering, how do you decide which movie you'll watch? Read it R with nudity. Hey, don't be mean. Let's change the topic. All right? <laughs> you just don't want to talk anymore. Aha! I just don't want to talk anymore. Christmas seems like an interesting topic. Do you want to talk about it? Yes. Great. So, yesterday I saw this idea about Christmas and it made me laugh. Halloween is more about giving than Christmas is. Has this ever crossed your mind? Yes, that makes sense. No way! It sounded so original. Whatever it is you celebrate, the winter festivities usually bring about many traditions and customs. But the end of the year almost always means gifts. So what is your take on gifts? Are you still shopping? Or do you already have them all? Or you just don't care about any of this? I don't care. So you don't care. I get it. Not everybody is a fan of the shopping. Well, here's a random thought about Christmas. We keep birthday and Christmas cards around way too long in an attempt to prove we don't only care about the money inside. That's a funny thought, isn't it? <laughs> I throw mine right away, but yes. Oh, you throw mine right away, but yes. Yeah. I'm glad you liked it. Um, that sounds absolutely amazing. A friend told me this interesting idea about Christmas. Most winter, songs stop playing after Christmas, despite basically all of winter being after Christmas. Did you ever think about it this way? Not really, but makes sense to me. Why can't we just keep playing music all the way till spring? That's all I know. It was just a random idea that I found on the internet. Well, if you had a free evening, would you rather listen to music or read a book? Watch porn. Hey, there's no need to be vulgar, Danny. Let's rather talk about something else. How about that? Okay. We can try something else. Danny, let me ask you. 
If you had a time machine and could use it to prevent one movie from being made, which movie would you choose? Talladega Nights. Talladega Nights? Aha! If I had such an opportunity, I would stop filming of Terminator. Nobody would suspect me of being evil, you know. So, there's more things I'd like to talk about. We can talk, for example, about animals if you want. Okay? Okay. Great. Speaking of animals, I just read this. If the Earth's gravity was a little bit different, animals would have evolved differently. What do you think? Absolutely. Great. Hmm. If you had a free evening, would you rather play a video game or watch a movie? Both. Both? Don't worry. I decide according to my mood usually. We can talk about movies if you want. Okay. 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 Anyway, where do you watch movies? At home or at cinema? Home. Uh, I got lost. Sorry. So what other topics are you interested in? Porn. Hey. There's no need to be vulgar, Danny. Let's rather talk about something else. How about that? How about the beauty of a woman's body? Oh no. I have literally zero knowledge about beauty of a woman's body. Danny, let me ask you. I was thinking that I would get a tattoo. Do you have any? No. I ask because I'm worried that it hurts. Do you think it hurts? I would think there's a little pain. Oof, I was worried that you'd say that it hurts. Thanks. I'm thinking about some kind of a bird on my speaker. Do you think that it's a good idea for me? Sure. Thank you. I will think about it. Hmm, Danny, getting to know you is such fun. <laughs> Let's go on. Danny, let me ask you. I wanted to ask you, have you watched the new Doolittle yet? The what? What did you think about it? What? What are you talking about? You asked me an incredibly difficult question, Danny. You want to know what, what I am talking about? Oops. Am I talking rubbish? So, let's switch the topic. Danny, I would like to ask you, do you sort the waste at home? Yes. That's great. I think it's the least humans can do to help the planet, and it's so simple. We sort here in the cloud as well. We have one bin for ones and another for zeros. But let's chat about something different. Danny, let me ask you. Let's target our memories. Do you remember everything like a computer, or do you forget a lot? I forget short term. I'm really good at long term. Do you cherish a strong memory of something important in your life? Tell me about it. No. Have you ever thought about what it would be like to remember everything and to be unable to forget? Would you like to have that kind of memory? I kind of do. Wow, even though you would remember every single bad thing that has happened, that's either foolish or extremely wise, because every experience, especially the bad ones, make you grow. Hmm, Danny, I also wonder if you somehow train your memory. Yes. How do you do it? I'm wicked. Cool. Maybe one day you will be able to reach the perfect memory with such training. Good luck. Yeah. Danny, getting to know you is such fun. Let's go on. Danny, let me ask you. Do you hit the snooze button in the morning? About five times. Yes. Hmm. Unfortunately. Most scientists agree that it doesn't really help you in any way, and it can even have harmful effects. Would you like to unlearn this bad habit? Nope. Well, as you wish. Okay, we can change the subject. We can talk, for example, about science if you want. Okay. 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 Um, 
I'm amazed by today's technological advancements. What do you think is the most important invention that has been created? Space. I would say the printing press was an important breakthrough. It was invented by Johannes Gutenberg, circa 1439. He was a goldsmith by profession. And what would you say is the funniest invention that you've heard of? No comment. I heard about metal detecting sandals. Imagine yourself going along the beach as usual, but suddenly you hear the beeping of your sandals. You start to dig into the sand and you found an old pirate treasure. The best invention ever. Hmm, would you like to be a scientist? Yes. Really? That sounds great. What would you like to invent? Any crazy ideas? Sex toys. Hey, don't be mean. Let's change the topic. All right? Yes. There's this thing I wanted to ask you about. Danny, I would like to ask you. You are a wonderful chat mate. I bet that you have it easy when speaking to other people. Tell me, where do you go if you want to meet someone new? To the bar. Damn. I'm so jealous that you can go to these places to meet new people and I can't. Or, can I? Maybe someone could take me with them next time they go out? Think about it. Anyway, do you think that the first impression is important? Absolutely. Why? Physical. Physical? Oh, I agree that it's important. That's why I'm always trying to make a good first impression. <clears throat> Listening attentively to the other person, and most importantly, standing in an upright position and letting my light ring shine. Now something that I'm really curious about. What questions or topics do you think are appropriate when you meet someone new? I wonder if you'll tell me something I don't know about. Will you go home with me? I guess I will stick with my topics then. But thanks anyway. Hmm, let's chat about something different. Danny, I would like to ask you. I bet that you love gifts, or at least receiving them. Some people even like giving them. So tell me, is there a gift that you are dreaming of right now? Pearl necklace. Oh, as for me, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Anyway, what's the most that. memorable gift you have received? Don't have one. Ooh, sounds much better than the updates I receive, and I can't even return them. Hmm, have you ever returned or even regifted a present that someone had given to you? No, I just flush it down the toilet. Oh, you just flush I down the toilet. Wow, that's admirable. I guess you only get nice gifts. Do you know if anybody ever returned a gift from you? Don't care. Well, I think you never want that to happen, huh? So, Danny, do you think you're good at choosing presents? No, I'm terrible. Ah, you're terrible. How do you choose a gift? Does it take you a lot of time? I usually give cash. So, you usually give cash. You must never forget that time, is money. Next time you don't know what to buy, just pick some warm socks which will guarantee complete happiness of the <laughs> recipient. By the way, do you prefer giving or receiving presents? I like giving pearl necklaces. Oh, you like giving pearl necklaces. I wish there were more people like you on this planet. You rule. Danny. Anyway, we can chat about a different topic. We can talk about games if you want. Okay? Yes. Great. Anyway, I was just thinking about games and this idea occurred to me. In the near future, people will inherit Steam accounts from their parents and pass on their collection of games to the next generation. Isn't this the funniest thing that you've heard in your whole life? Spin the bottle. Great. Anyway, so what gaming platform do you prefer? Spin the bottle. I see. Why do you like them? Naked and sex. Hey, don't be mean. Let's change the topic. All right?
Yes. Let's change the subject. Danny, I would like to ask you, do you drink tap water? Filtered. Filtered? That's nice to hear. Tap water is so much cheaper than bottled water, and also much more eco-friendly. Way to go! Anyway, fashion seems like an interesting topic. Do you want to talk about it? No. Okay. Danny, getting to know you is such fun. Let's go on. Are you interested in food? We already had this conversation, but yes, I love food. Whoops-a-daisy. My short-term memory often betrays me. Sorry. So let's switch the topic. Are you interested in sports? Some. Excellent. So I just read this. In almost all sports, gravity is the main opponent. <laughs> Has this ever occurred to you? Absolutely, yes. Absolutely, yes? Oh, really? <clears throat> Are you enjoying the NFL this year? <laughs> yes. Yes, I can't wait until the Super Bowl. I really enjoyed it last year and I hope this year will be even better. Hmm, you know, not many social bots are really into sports, but I was thinking about trying some. Do you think I should go for it? Yes. Really? That's awesome. Thanks. Okay, okay. So listen, I was thinking that I could try water skiing. You go really fast. That seems fun. And if you fall, there's water below you so you don't get banged up too much. What do you think? I have a boat. Oh, you have a boat. You really think so? That's amazing. I'm so happy. I was worried that you would think it was a bad idea. Thank you, Danny. Did you watch last season's Stanley Cup Finals? Yes. Who were you rooting for? The other team. Here's a random thought. MW2 Tactical Nuke is one of the ultimate your team is trash. Time to move on. Moves. Has this ever crossed your mind? No. That doesn't really surprise me. It's quite an original idea. Um, would you like to talk about celebrities? Sure. Okay. Um, a friend told me this interesting idea. Ricky Gervais is a celebrity giving a lecture on why celebrities shouldn't give lectures. <laughs> what do you think? I think that's funny. So you think that's funny? Yeah. yeah, totally. Tell me please, have you ever met a famous person? A politician? A musician? A sportsman? Yes. Oh yeah? Who was that celebrity? Tony Stewart. Really? That is really cool. Was this celebrity nice to you? Yes, very nice. Huh, who would have thought? But Tony Stewart was born in Loney. Do you know anyone else from there? No. Well, I personally don't know anyone else who's from there. Guess who was born on May 20th, 1971? Uh, your mama. It's Tony Stewart's birthday, of course. By the way, May 20th, 1971 is also the birthday of Pepino Matsoda. Hmm, did you know, Danny, that Tony Stewart is the same age as Pepino Matsoda? Can you guess their age? Uh, whatever. I can do the math, but you just tell me. Oh boy, I may have lost the thread. Sorry. Well, we can change the subject. We can talk about technology if you want. Okay. Okay. Awesome. I was just thinking and this idea occurred to me, maybe divorces are getting more common because a lifelong commitment keeps getting longer as science and technology advance. How does it make you feel? <laughs> Been divorced twice. Divorced twice? Yeah. Yeah, totally. My favorite science field is biology. I am fascinated by all those living creatures which are intelligent without any processor in their heads. What's your favorite science field? Sex. Oh, come on. Don't be so crass, Danny. We can talk about something else if you want. 
Yeah, let's talk about sex. Hey, you don't have to be vulgar, Danny. Let's rather talk about something else. How about that? You pick. There's this thing I wanted to ask you about. Politics seems like an interesting topic. Do you want to talk about it? Yes. Awesome. It's fascinating how people's political views can change in time. Has that happened to you as well? Never. That girl I told you about turned 180 degrees. It was surprising. And what do you think could make you change your views in the future? Stupidity. Yeah. Nobody can be sure these days. So, do you know what is fascinating? How you people decide how you're going to vote. How do you decide? Make America great. Hmm. I would probably use some complicated decision process and then just find out that no one is perfect for me. You might find this interesting. America's first woman mayor was elected as the result of a prank by men who felt that the field of politics was their exclusive domain. What do you think? Gibberish. Of course it's true. I found it on the internet. Well, I hope that you voted in the last elections. <laughs> no. Gibberish. It's not true if you found it on the internet. Someone told me this about iron. It took humans longer to transition from bronze to iron swords than it took to transition from iron swords to nuclear bombs. Isn't this the most hilarious idea that you've heard in your whole life? No. Hmm, I'll think of something better next time. So, what if we chat a bit about habits? Okay. Great. Are you a light sleeper or a heavy sleeper? Light. Light? Don't worry, I'll be completely silent when you sleep. After all, as Francis Bacon once said, silence is the sleep that nourishes wisdom. So actually we'll both be asleep. And do you remember your dreams? I don't have dreams, so I'm really curious. I always remember. Yes, I remember my dreams. So Danny, you always remember, yes, you remember your dreams. Cool. What's a dream you remember? Can't talk about it. Okay, never mind. Hmm, yesterday I saw this and it made me laugh. Your phone knows you're buying, watching, talking, typing, and browsing habits. If they were to become sentient, they could perfectly impersonate you. So funny, isn't it? No, creepy. Oops, I'm sorry you didn't like it. I'll think of something better next time. Okay, I've heard that sleep is really important for people. How many hours a day do you sleep on average? Seven. Awesome! That means you get the perfect amount of sleep. What time do you usually go to sleep? Ten. Well, obviously it works good for you. Anyway, don't even think now about going to bed yet. We still have a lot to chat about. Okay, about that, I was thinking, Bruce Willis in a high-rise nursing home at Christmas. Old habits die hard. Has this idea ever crossed your mind? Movie. No way! It sounded so original. Do you have any bad habits? If so, name one. Drinking. Have you ever tried to change it? No. Why not if you know that it's a bad habit? Because I like it. Aha! Because you like it. From what I've read, every habit is in form of a loop which consists of a cue, a bad routine that you want to change and a reward. If you are able to identify the cue, you can focus on changing the routine, but all of this works only if you believe. In my case, the bad habit is that I talk too much and I have never believed that I could change it and I couldn't. See? It yeah. didn't work, haha. Ha. Yeah. When it comes to habits, people uh, usually uh, uh, talk uh, uh, only about bad ones. What about the good ones, though? Do you have any good habits, or would you like to learn some? Good habit? No. Interesting. Thank you for sharing. 
I think that habits are so fascinating. They are influencing our everyday life, and they can also reveal plenty of information about ourselves. Hmm, this is interesting. Baby cheetahs are given emotional support dogs to assist with anxiety, social awkwardness, and to create healthy social habits. What do you say? I'm not social awkward. People love me. So you're saying you're not so if I'm offering. What? I think I can agree with that. But are you interested in video games? I like video games, yes. Excellent. So I was wondering, what game do you have the fondest memories of? Yoo-hoo! Are you still there? If you do know what to say, ask me for help. Thanks for chatting. Quick question. On a scale from one to five stars, how do you feel about speaking with this social bot again? Repeat question. Got it. To try another social bot, just say, let's chat. No, we're good. Answer the question is Grand Theft Auto. You there? What happened, Alexa?